Hello everyone, welcome to this video, where we are going to demonstrate how to use RTLO with advanced projects like YouTube. In this video, main features will be separated into multiple projects. We will also inspect each project individually to make this demonstration easy to understand for most users. RTLA allows you to monitor changes, extract data and automate browser actions. It can also download images, videos and log in to multiple accounts. More videos will be made to demonstrate how to use other features like proxies, Google Sheets, generate reports, install any Chrome extension and much more. Now, let's start by running our projects. Artila will frequently visit a YouTube channel, and once a new video is found it will extract some basic information. Then, it will download its thumbnail image, and finally it will trigger the next extraction project. The second project will get detailed information about the video and download it as an MP4 file then trigger the last automation project. In this example, the last project will sign in automatically to account. Then Artila will use a bridged variable to get the link of the last added video and visit it as a dynamic variable. After that, it will click on like and subscribe buttons then post a comment using spinned content. At the end, Artila will take a full screenshot of the page and repeat the process for the next account. Now we will inspect all projects to check their configurations. The monitoring project needs to run frequently, that's where we can use the scheduling feature with its unlimited options. Here, we will show you how to enable the floating panels option which is recommended for big screens. The panel at the left contains properties which can have different selectors with their own filters, conditions, and configurations. Each property can be easily monitored with multiple options, in this example, we are mainly using the project trigger to call the extraction project once a change is detected. As you can see, downloading a file can be easily enabled by just checking the download checkbox. We also added a filter using JavaScript code to clean the image URL.
the extraction project will be called automatically from the monitoring project, let's see how the chaining is configured. This project is using the monitoring project as a data source to get the last added video. Unlike the first project, we have two panels as we want to use both features. All projects in Artila have the same layouts, and each project can have multiple properties and commands with custom settings like we are browsing now. In this second project we want to download a video by using the get video command, that's why we added the extract results, this command is optional if the automation panel is empty. At the end of the flow we want to call the last project without passing any data, we will see later how it uses a bridged variable. In the last project we'll only have one automation panel, let's see what the automation flow looks like. The automation project will not have any data source, it will automatically call a variable and loop through the list. We will check each command, and you can pause the video anytime to understand how each command works. In the next video we will show you how to create those three projects from scratch.
Thanks for watching.